James Ballmer back today I'm about to address the situation with Hassan Campbell and Trife Gangster so the situation is like this right I don't know if y'all know the story about Taxstone Troy Ave Banger this was a situation that happened in New York, right? Trife Gangster was in a club. You know what I'm saying? With his peoples, right? Troy Ave went in there, right? He sent Banger in there to confront Trife Gangster, I mean, I'm sorry. He went in there to confront Taxstone. Trife Gangster is the brother of Banger. So, on one side, you got Taxstone, right? And he's there with his peoples, right? Choyav comes in the club. To confront Taxstone because they got beef, right? But he didn't confront Taxstone. He sent Banger to confront Taxstone. To hurt Taxstone, right? Little did they know that Taxstone had a gun on him. So when Banger approached Taxstone, he let that thing go. He let that thing go. And he put him down. He put down Banger. Right? So Troy Ave sent Banger to go do a to go do a, a mission. To confront Taxstone. Taxstone pull, pulled out the Banger and put Banger down. Right? He's out of here. Took him out. Right? Now, Hassan Campbell addressed the issue. He he addressed the issue online and explained what happened because Hassan Campbell is an internet guy. And once you become an internet guy, it's almost like you're a reporter, like you're a TV reporter, just like just like what I'm doing now, right? So whatever hits online is free game. It's free game for uh for Hassan to talk about. So Hassan said it the way it was. You know what I'm saying? And then Trife Gangster, which is Banger's brother, the guy who got killed, Trife Gangster is Banger's brother. Started he didn't like he didn't like what Hassan Campbell said. So he started getting at Hassan Campbell and Hassan Campbell is gonna address the issue. I like Hassan Campbell. A lot of the stuff that he says makes a lot of sense to me. You know? I can't really do too many videos about him because most of the stuff that he talks about, I kinda agree with it. So but let me uh let me play let me play let me play Haas real quick talking about the situation. <sighs> Let's see what's going on. I know it's been, it was raining outside, and I don't know what's. Let me see. I don't know if it kind of messing with my uh, Wi-Fi or what. Okay, here we go. What? Hold on, I'm gonna bring it back. Hold on. And you see, I don't even press nothing in this shit. Come on, bro. Give me one second, man. Give me one second, bro. This is... It just froze. Hold on. 
I think I'm gonna have to. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to instead of getting the Wi-Fi, because what happened is I live in my. I got my own place here on my family's property, right? I live in a trailer on my family's property, right? And the Wi-Fi comes from the house. I got another thing right there that kind of amps the Wi-Fi, but I think I'm gonna have to get my own. I think I'm gonna have to get my own. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to do my own thing because this shit right here is pissing me off, bro. All right, it's, it's working now. Niggas do anything for the clout, man. I'm telling you, niggas hide anything, it, bro. Niggas will say what anything, doing, bro. Stop it. The niggas say. Hassan. The <laughs> yeah, another one. Yeah, Hassan playing around. Bro, he doing he too much. Said, yeah, he, he said he's pissed. Yo, he just said, he, he, he been antagonizing my name for years, bro, trying to dick me out. Right? He disrespecting me and my brother on Clubhouse. Wow. Well, I yeah, didn't know that. I ain't know that either. I don't watch yeah, it. Yo, you know, yo, your picture dead brother up. Your mother gonna be crying again. What? Yeah, bro. She was that motherfucker. I didn't yeah. know that. Damn, you were the same. At the end, like, yo, my brother, I just want peace. Nah, bro, and then you go back to talking. He just says to me, you know, he tell him about So I have sent Bama on the Dozer mission. You know, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? So what are you like talking that? about? Oh. Niggas do anything for the clout, man. I'm telling you. Niggas are saying anything, stop it, bro. Stop niggas say what anything, bro. Stop it. The niggas say... Clout is why my name is in this title. Clout is why y'all talking about me. I already got the clout. Now, the reason why me and, Tack, me and Tripe Gangsta had beef is because my song pulled him in the middle, tagged his name in an argument me and my song was having, and Tripe Gangsta started talking slick. I've never met a man that I'm afraid of, so I start talking slick back. Shall we begin? On Rikers Island, we called certain dudes dojas. Because when you got to a certain level, you ain't had to put work in no more. You just send your dojas on a doja move. While the dude that's running the house just sit back and watch the work he put in. At that club that night, According to the transcripts in the courts, according to court testimony, and according to tax though, because I spoke to him, according to Mano, Banger goes in the club. Troy Ave gave a nod, a wink, nodded his head, and your brother jumped out the he jumped out the window with no parachute, so he jumped out the window. He thought something was sweet. And Tax Stone said, boom, boom, boom. Hit him in the head with the headshot. Boom. Hit him in the leg with the... He rocked the snot box. Tax Stone turned his TV off. He said, night, night. And the rest of the club and the family said, well, everybody started crying. Should I put that in subtitles or something? He looked, we looked, bring it back. Rewind. Your brother went in the club looking for trouble. Troy Ave went in that club looking for trouble. Tax Stone was standing, minding his business by himself. According to Tax Stone, Troy Ave walked past him first. Walked past him. What he did was, now according to the testimony, we're going to go according to the testimony. You nodded your head. Tax Stone jumped out of the window. And when he jumped out of the window... I mean, I, I, rather, Banger jumped out of the window. Your brother. Your brother jumped out of the window, sleeping on Daryl Campbell. I saw Campbell, Daryl Campbell, are we related? He jumped out of the window, and Tax Stone said, boom, boom, boom. Hit him in that. Yo. Close casket. He gave him a whole scenario. From the from, from from the club, he went to the hospital. From the hospital, he went to the freezer. From the freezer, he went to the morgue. From the morgue, y'all was throwing roses on his casket. Now, what part 
much you don't understand. Your brother started it. Troy Ave sent him on a dummy move. That was Troy Ave's beat. He could have fought Tax Stone, man to man, and everybody could have went home alive. Nope. He didn't do that. They jumped that man. That man defended himself. Somebody got to die. If I go, you got to go. That was the scenario. Somebody got their snot box rocked. And now you sitting up there mad at me because I talk like I said it like it is. The court said your brother died on a doja move. And now, Troy Ave is out here celebrating your brother's death while your mother's crying. Wah, wah. Shall we begin? So I apologize to you in the past because we Muslim and Muslim are not supposed to go at each other. I apologize five times a day to a lost upon with the island when I do things wrong. That's why Muslims make prayer five times a day because we know we do throw we we sin throughout the day. So I battle with myself to be a better man. But um, right is right and wrong is wrong. Your brother died in a state of disbelief. He died in a state of ignorance. He died in Satan's house. He died in Satan's house for one of Satan's children. And you mad at me? I didn't have nothing to do with that. I wasn't there for that. But I'm not going to paint a picture that you want me to paint. Your brother died because Troy Ave sent him on a doja mission. And now Troy Ave is living his best life while your brother, well, if he had kids, he ain't provided for him no more. Is Troy Ave provided for him? The world will never know. He's too busy bragging about his DR. That's the end of that. This is the end of my back and forth. I'm not making another video about you, but I'm going to say this to you. I saw you outside the courthouse with a dude all in your face. And you did not do nothing. But you think it's something sweet about Poppy? Nah. Absolutely not. You don't see it's something deranged in his eyes today? Playtime is over. I ain't playing with nobody. It is what it is. Rest in peace to Banger. But it wasn't Tax Stone that killed your brother. It was Troy Ave. Because a boss make boss moves. He was responsible for everybody's life that night. He's out here celebrating and you want the internet mad at me? Where they do that at? It is what it is, man. If all y'all that's been looking for my videos... I can't say shit, bro. Hassan is... He's right. And, 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 and the shit that I want to say is this, right? For all you dudes, right, when somebody tells you to go do a mission, right, analyze the situation. Analyze it. If you, I don't care who you down with. I don't care who you down with. I don't care what gang you down with. I don't care who you down with, whatever. When your big homie tells you to go do a mission, Analyze the situation. If he's sending you to go do a mission, right? And he's afraid to fight that guy, just like just like we're we're, we're banger and tax stone, right? If if banger would have thought a little bit, right? And he said, Hold up, he's sending me to go do this mission for him, right? He got a problem with that man, right? Why don't he handle that shit himself? Why don't he go? Matter of fact, if you want to send me on something, I'll go talk to him and see if y'all can fight one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody got to die. Nobody got to die, right? Nobody got to die, right? Why the fuck is, am I going to do a mission? Yo, first of all, if somebody asked me to go do a mission, bro, I'm going to analyze the whole situation because I'm not going to end up in a situation like Banger did, jumping out the window, like he said, jumping out the window with no parachute. He didn't know that Tax Stone had that thing on him. He ain't know that Tax Stone was gripped up. You know what I'm saying? He thought maybe something was sweet because he was in the club. Nah. This is New York, baby. And not even, even if it wasn't New York. 
if you in Miami, if you in Chicago, if you anywhere you at, if you at the club, let me tell you something. Some of those people get them things inside the club. They get them in. I used to get them in. I used to get them in. I used to know the security in Connecticut, and I used to get them in. Don't approach somebody on some stupid doja shit, bro. Don't do it. But I know what he's talking about when I was locked up and I was in jail. I got locked up in New York, too. I know what he's talking about. Because when you get locked up, especially in New York, they have OGs that send other kids to do missions for them. They don't do it, they don't do it themselves because they already got to a certain level in that gang or in that clique where they ain't got to do the move. They go send somebody to go hurt you. They ain't got to do it. You know what I'm saying? So no matter where you at, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you ain't going to end up in jail. But no matter where you at, always analyze the situation. Hold on, let me see if I could get this lighting better, man. I don't know. This lighting is kind of crazy right now. I can't really get it right. Analyze the situation, man. Don't be played for a fool, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't let don't let niggas play you like that, bro. Always analyze the situation. This is the reason why I joined only one gang and when once I once once that gang broke up and fell apart, I never joined another gang again. Because you know you know how it is? The newcomers that come into that gang, they use them as dojas. So if you a new recruit for the gang, you're going to be the one doing all the, putting in all the work, doing all the pain. And if you get caught and you get arrested and you go to jail, they're not going to bond you out. They're not going to send you money. It's going to be your mom or family members that's going to come visit you and send you money. They won't do it. Most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time. Give me one. Give me one second, real quick, cause I I had some other topics that I want. I had another topic I want to talk about, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause this shit is serious to me, man. Like, this shit is for real. Like, I'm for real with this shit. Like, shout out to all my subscribers, man. Shout out to my peoples, man. We're gonna grow this channel and we're gonna become a community, and we're gonna figure this shit out how to. Get out the struggle. We're going to do this shit together. Right? Um, I want y'all to see this shit. Right? Because remember on my last video, I was talking about how the homeless get treated. Right? Why we're not fighting to help the homeless? Because one day that could be you. You might be the homeless person, right? So why don't we just start the fight now? Right? That's my thing. Everybody has their thing. Hassan Campbell has his victims or sexual uh, thing where he's doing with Bambada to help people victims of sexual abuse, right? My thing is homelessness, all right? That's my fight. Man, why this shit always fucking with me when, when I try to... Just give me a second. It seems like every time I try to make my point... Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all been with me. Y'all know. Every time I try to make my point, motherfucking... All right, check this, right? This is out in Philly. Look at all these people living on the street. Look at this look at this lady right here. High as fuck. 
Look at this shit. Look at these tents. Look at these people in wheelchairs and shit. Look at this shit. Look at that girl right there. How old you think that girl is? She's probably in her 20s. Look at she's she's gone. She lost. She's high as fuck. Look at these people living in the street. You think you who who gives a fuck about these people? I want to know. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Nobody deserves to live like this. Nobody. I don't give a fuck if you're on drugs. I don't give a fuck if you're high. I don't give a fuck if you... Nobody deserves to live like this. With all the land that we have in America, all the land that no one's using, all the abandoned houses that no one's using, there's no reason to live like this. It's fucking... It's disgusting, bro. Okay, watch this. Hmm. What the fuck are they doing with our tax money? I want to know. You mean to tell me all this fucking tax money that they taking from us? What the fuck are they doing with it? They don't give a fuck about the homeless people, and that could be you. That could be your kids. If you make less than 50k a year and are under the age of 65, I'm sick and tired of this fucking Yo, I think I'm gonna start using Rumble, yo. I, I I'm starting to fucking hate YouTube. I swear. YouTube fucking sucks. All they doing is fucking putting a thousand commercials in your shit. They're fucking flagging people that speak the truth. the homeless who stay here for hours on the train it's called the end of the line policy which means that at the end of the night everyone will have to be deboarded that means also the homeless who stay here for hours on the trains it happens in downtown la long beach and santa monica and this is how it's affecting the communities on the daily, the MTA is the only mode of transportation for thousands of people. For the homeless, the Metro it's a place for rest. The homeless are fucking staying in the subways, look, in California, because they don't have no fucking place to go. You mean to tell me nobody gives a fuck just because you're sleeping in your nice warm bed and you got a, you got a plate on your table, you don't give a fuck about these people how it's living... Look, they have nowhere to fucking go. What they doing with our tax money? Explain this shit to me. Somebody, please, in the comment, explain this shit to me. All the fucking land that we got in America, all the land with trees and shit, all the parks we got, all the golf courses that we fucking got. You mean to tell me we can't come up with something better than this? They sleeping in the fucking train, and now they telling them they can't sleep in the fucking train no more. And sleep. For some, a safer location than sleeping on the streets. You have to be up at all times. 
you can't just go to sleep because that's uh, you can get robbed or you get raped or any you know anything like that. Survival of the fittest. That's what it's like out here. Hell yeah! If you wear blue, the blood to get you. If you wear red, crips to get you. Some people ride the metro for hours because they have nowhere else to go. When it breaks down, like suddenly this one did, they simply move on to the one that's working. How many hours would you say you spend on the metro? I say like uh, maybe close. Sometimes like a dozen hours on that platform. But between midnight. This and shit is fucking crazy, right? That could be you. That could be your kids after you pass away, after you die. That could be your kids sleeping on the subway like that, like that old man. That could be your son. Because if you don't pay rent and you don't pay your taxes, that's what happens to you. But what the fuck they doing with all that tax money? They not helping people. They don't give a fuck about the people. Fuck the roads. Fuck all that shit. We got to save our people, man. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking... Butt naked ass fucking homeless guy. He can't do shit with his life. He's mentally broken, fucked up. No one cares. People drive by him to go to work and pay their taxes, and the government takes the money and does what the fuck they want to do with it. They'll send it over to motherfucking uh to another country. They'll take the money and send it over to motherfucking what's the name of that country? Ukraine, they'll send it over to Ukraine before they help these people, these Americans. Look at this shit. Look at these motherfuckers sleeping in tents, bro. They, so I'm going to show you how to get $540. They talk about it on the news, right? But they don't do shit about it. You respect this government? I don't respect these motherfuckers, none of them. None of them. Dollars a month paid by the government. Thirty percent of the country's homeless population is here in California. ABC 10's Morgan Reiner covers all things politics. And Morgan, I know you spoke with national leaders on this issue. So why do the numbers look so different? Chris and Laura, the president of the National Coalition on Homelessness, wants to make it clear that the numbers you are about to hear are likely worse than they are in California and across the country. This point in time count doesn't count homeless individuals who are staying with friends or family, living in rural areas or staying in motels. About 172,000 homeless people live in California. The state had the largest rate of increase in its homeless population in the country at 6.2%. Heartbreaking, but not a surprise. Uh, in fact, I would say from my end, the numbers are actually underestimated. Dr. Rajni Shankar Brown is the president of the National Homeless Coalition. California accounted for half of all unsheltered people in the country. In California, we've continued to see compounding issues. Housing is not affordable. It is not accessible for so many. Rent prices have continued to surge. And all while many do not have a fair living wage. Tom Albanese is an independent homeless consultant who helps cities across the country come up with better homeless plans. He agrees. California's housing market is the reason the issue is exacerbated here. The housing market, you know, the options for them are evaporating. Even if they have a voucher, it's a it's a competition of like musical chairs, and there's fewer chairs than there were before. And folks don't have other solutions like permanent supportive housing at the scale that's needed. On a national level, homelessness increased by less than one percent. I think the main takeaway is uh, remarkably through the pandemic, and I would say with bipartisan support. Uh, we were able to provide emergency rental assistance and other protective measures that help to keep people safely housed. Many programs that have since ended. President Biden's administration put out a plan Monday to reduce the homeless population 25% by 2025. Both think it's achievable. We have more than enough resources in the United States to end homelessness. Uh, there is no doubt we're one of the wealthiest nations in the world. What we need is the political will. Brown. Listen, man, how do you run a country and get all that tax money, billions of dollars, right? Billions of dollars, 
and drive by these people every day and look at them and say, I don't give a fuck. As long as I go to my rich mansion, I don't give a fuck. What the, I don't care if they die out there in the street. I can't believe that shit. You know how many people are millionaires? I'm not even talking about that. Because the government itself could fix this problem. You know what I'm saying? Instead, they sending money to other places like Ukraine. They could fix this problem. And if they don't want to fix the problem, then at least give them a park where they could take a shower and get themselves together. And then if there's people that got work for them, they could go to that park and say, hey, does anybody want to work today? And they say, okay, I need 10 guys. All right. Now they could find a way to get their life together. Understand? But to fucking let this shit get like this, you know what I'm saying? And not give a fuck. That's probably the reason why I ain't got crazy money like that. Because I can't see this shit. Every time I, somebody asks me for money, I give it to them. And I know my shit ain't going to make a difference. But these motherfuckers is printing money out. They're living in rich mansions and all this shit. You telling me all, all the rich people in America can't come up with a plan to fix this problem? As a matter of fact, it's not even it's not even the rich people's job. It's the government's job to fix this motherfucking problem, bro. It's their job. If not, give us some fucking land and we'll fix the fucking problem. Because it seems like y'all don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They don't. And this could be you, your kids. This could be you a week from now. This could be your family. Keep thinking that it can't happen to you. Keep thinking that this shit can't happen to you. This shit could happen to you like this. A week from now, two days from now, that could be you. And then, then you want to cry about it. Then you're going to cry, oh my God, I can't believe this. I can't believe no one wants to help. We're homeless, me and my kids. God forbid, I don't wish that on nobody. But the fact of the matter is, this is a fight that we got to fight. This is my fight. This is my fight. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I love my subscribers. Y'all know how I do. You know what I'm saying? Once I start going live, we're going to talk, address the issue. What do y'all think about this shit? I didn't even play the one from Orlando. Over there, down there in Orlando, uh... There's a whole street that's just like that. All homeless people. People drive by them every day. Don't give a fuck. They pay their taxes. What the fuck is the government doing with these taxes? Don't you think it's more important to work on helping the people than to spend this money on some, some other shit? How the fuck being somebody who runs a country, bro, how the fuck could you drive by these homeless people and not say, hey, there's got to be a way that we could change this shit. All this money that we got, all this money that the country pulls in, there's no way to fucking change this shit. If y'all going to increase taxes, right? Like they do, like they keep increasing the taxes and the gas shit and all that, right? Why don't you make a tax for the homeless? I wouldn't mind paying that tax. I wouldn't mind paying that tax. I'm sure a lot of other people wouldn't mind paying that tax either to help the homeless and start building facilities that could rehabilitate them and put them back into society and get them right and fix the problem. I wouldn't mind paying that tax. What y'all think? Let me know in the comment section, man. James Ballmer family, love y'all. Peace, love, and light. Bless you. Bless your family. Leave a comment. Know what I'm saying? What do y'all think about this? This is my fight, too. Like, share, subscribe. Love y'all. Leave a comment. And if you're new to the channel, hit the notifications. We out.